Hello everybody, welcome back to Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Today, we're going after our third pro hunt, and that is the Double Shovel Caribou. Now, we have to hunt them with the recurve bow, so we're going to be using the 600 grain arrows, and I think we're going to start at 12 o'clock. So here we go. We've been tracking a small herd of caribou not far from here. The herd bull in charge is called Double Shovel around these parts. He's yours if you can take him. He lives up to his name, too. Rack like a snowplow. Getting a shot at him won't be easy. Caribou are always on the move, and they usually travel in large numbers. You're gonna need patience, smarts, and good timing to get a good shot at double shovel. All right, so I know he's gonna be close to the river, and we're gonna have to try and cut him off. We picked out a pinch point by a river where we've seen other herds cross. If you dog it too long, though, you're gonna miss your chance. The setup here is real simple. Get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's going to make your approach tricky, but there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down double shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, red alert. We need to be careful because they can see us right here. These be stealthy. Well, we got to get there too. So these rocks here will give us some kind of cover, but at the same time, we still need to get there fast because otherwise he's going to pass and we won't be there in time. So, I'm not sure if we should crouch the whole way or try and stand up a little bit in between these rocks or what. But at this time, I think all we can really do is just try and crouch as fast as we can to get there because we don't want him to bust us. And the rock is right here. Alright, so I think we're going to stand up right now and try and get a little bit of ground here, even though we only need to get like 10 meters. All right, so we gained a little bit of ground. I'm not sure if it was totally necessary. Quickly now, find your target. You don't have much time. Aim yeah, we're still now. not in the stand don't yet. Until you know it's a sure shot. All right, we got in. We got in, just in time. So the wind's pushing a little bit to the left. So we should be all right for a, about maybe like a 60-yard shot. Yeah, should be about a 60-yard shot. Actually, we did really good. We got here quite on quite on time. I think we actually got here a little bit early because the way he made it sound that we needed to get here as fast. Oh, here they come! Here they come! I see a couple of cows. Let's just get a range on them. Yeah, they're gonna be about 50 yards away. Problem is, I don't know if they're gonna stop. Oh, there he is! There he is! All right, guys. There's Double Shovel. He is a 19 point, 440 scoring caribou, and he is 50 yards away. Pretty broadside. It looks like it's going to be sort of a walking shot, but we can definitely make that happen. Got a broadside shot here. So here we go. Oh, we hit a little high. No way, we dropped him. Oh. Now that's how you do it. Great shot. Perfect He's shot. Going down. Go check out your trophy. But at the same time, that was pretty lucky. I can't believe we dropped Hogzilla with one shot. And we dropped uh, Double Shovel just now with one shot too. Wow, how cool is that? So he was walking and we were trying to lead him a little bit. But I knew I was holding high. I was hoping for kind of the top of the lung spine. And let him just a little bit too much. But at the same time, he went down. So it was still a perfect shot. And there he is. Good old double shovel. 
All right, guys. Well, let's pick him up and see what he scores. So he scores 440. He was a 19 point, and we got 900 gear credits earned from hitting him in the spine and neck area. We got a total of 300 points for that. And let's see how many points we get for the completing the killed double shovel. We got 11,900 points for killing double shovel. All right, well that was pretty awesome, and that was the first try at hunting double shovel. So, to be honest, yeah, it was a little bit luck, but at the same time, we let him good and took a shot, and he went down. So, I'm pretty happy with that. You handled yourself like a pro out there. Well, he learned from the best. Congratulations, those snowplow antlers are going to look great hanging on your wall. All right, guys, so I know we just did some bear hunting recently. But now I want to get the 12 gauge pump and see if we can't get some bear with the 12 gauge and try and get some more points here. So let's see if we can buy the 12 gauge pump for 15,000. Yes, we can. And we don't want bird shot, that's for sure. So apparently we need to buy some slugs. Oh, we already have slugs. All right, cool. So we'll bring a couple of slugs with us. And I don't think there's a scope. No, there's no scope. And let's go try and find some bear. So we need to hunt one black bear with a shotgun. But let's try and kill him with at least two shots. Maybe one if we're lucky. Alright, so let's start hunting at about 8 o'clock. Got some kind of motion over here. That is indeed a pretty big bear. And I think he's actually sleeping, to be honest. Let's check our map here. He is, he's sleeping. All right, this might work out pretty good. So we should be able to get within about 50 yards to take a shot. And I don't think this thing really has much penetration. So, oh, he just got up. So, I don't really think we want to hug too tight to the shoulder blade. I think we might be better off going for an intestine liver shot. I mean, we're going to try and get lungs, but we're definitely not going to hug too tight to the shoulder blade. Oh, our bear's on the move. There he is right there. He's about 80 yards away. I think... Yeah, he just went back to sleep. We have a really good win, so he can't smell us. For sure. But we don't want to make too much noise, or he might jump up. Alright, so we're getting pretty close right now. Yeah, he's about 70 yards away. Right now we're just going to crawl towards him about 15 more yards and I'll be pretty happy with that if we can get 15 more yards on him without him spooking. Actually is he walking? Is he? He's coming right towards us. He's coming right towards us. And apparently he's 30 yards away. Can't quite see him good enough. But he is definitely coming right towards us. He's pretty broadside right there at 66 yards. Almost perfect. But, ah, oh, we might take this shot. Yeah, we're going to take the shot. Oh, he just lay down and went to sleep. All right, he's still back up. Let's see what happens. Oh, so close. Uh, that was close, but still off the mark. It must have. You need to practice your marksmanship. Hopefully we can hit him at least one more time. Oh, yeah, we definitely hit him. It's not going to kill him, but might slow him down a little bit. Yeah, these slugs have no penetration whatsoever. That's a shame. Sloppy shooting. Painful, too. At 72 Next yards, that thing would have went right through. Make sure you're
all the way up into the intestines, it would have been just crushed. But either way, we should have ourselves a dead bear here pretty soon. So let's go find him. And yes, we definitely got robbed on that first shot. That should have been a hard shot. Might be kind of difficult to track this sucker. Whoa! Caribou! Totally could have shot one of them, but I don't think it would have really done anything because we're on a mission for this bear right now. And look at this. Got some birds here. Too bad we didn't have some bird shot with us. Yep, there he is right there. Slightly injured. Story of my life. Apparently this bear isn't going to die because otherwise it would say seriously injured. So we're going to get ready to try and put another hit at him. But I think we might be able to get some points back if we can somehow get a lung hit on him. The wind is really bad right now. And we're basically walking right towards him. So he could easily smell us and bust at any minute. Yeah, he's right there. Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Which is exactly what's going on right now. <laughs> We're definitely caught flat-footed, and we're definitely upwind of this bear. And he is mad, and he is coming. Let's try and fire a shot into this tree. We hit him. Come on, hit something. It's like it's going right through the body, but it's not hitting anything. That was close, but still off the mark. Oh, apparently it hit wide left. Marksmanship to ensure a clean shot can't see him anymore all we need is one bear that's it just one we already hit him three times caribou there uh oh uh oh he is not happy all right hopefully we can at least find this thing so we can shoot him again there he is oh my god I think we hit him Come on, drop. Lungs. Really? Well, at least we hit lungs. Right on target. Shooting a running animal is challenging, but also risky. In the future, wait until your target is stationary to ensure a clean kill. Finally, we killed him. Oh my gosh. Look at him, he's still moving. This thing just won't die. All right, well, let's pick this thing up and see how many times we actually hit him. But we finally killed him, and that should count for our mission. And we actually gained 100 points out of all that, and he scores 152. So we lost 100 for hitting uh, the intestine, but we gained uh, 200 for hitting the lung. So it counteracted, and we actually gained 100 points from all that. And we got a total of 7,600 gear credits earned. So that turned out all right. As much as it was pretty much a chase around, eventually we actually got him and gained some points. All right, now we're gonna go hunt one black bear with a rifle. And for this one, we need to have the 7mm mag bolt action. Now, I don't think we can actually afford that right now, but let's check. We can afford it, but barely. So let's get it. And let's put the 6x rifle scope on it. Apparently we have to use the uh, soft points, which might not work out so good. But again, we don't have much choice. So let's go hunt one bear with a rifle. And let's start at 8 o'clock this time. Here we go. All right, so this bear was over here last time. 
Maybe this time we should go for this bear here. Got some kind of movement down there. Ooh, it's one of those black black bears. That's pretty awesome. And he's pretty big too, 180 to 200 pounds, 143 score. I think we might be able to get a pretty decent shot from just up here on this hill. He's pretty broadside right there. And he's about 90 yards away. Yeah, he turned a little bit too much now and he's probably gonna lay back down. So we have to get a little bit more around him so we can get a square shot on him. I don't think he can see us. A little bit too far away. But there he is there. About 100 yards away. And couldn't get much worse of an angle if we actually tried. Especially with these hollow points. It's just not going to work out. So we're going to try and sneak closer and hopefully he turns a little bit and gives us somewhat of a shot. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah, he's right there. He's going to keep coming. We should have a pretty good shot here. Yeah, I definitely have a good shot. He's about 40 yards away, maybe 30, but he's walking. That should have been a hit. Got him. Long shot. Nice and clean. Just missed the heart, too. Now last time we hit him with a long shot like that and it didn't die for quite some time. So we actually had to shoot him again. I'm just hoping that this thing will die and we don't have to chase him down for another hour. But I don't know if we should wait or track him down right away. So I think what we're going to do is check out the blood. See what it looks like. It looks definitely pretty solid. I know the 7mm is pretty powerful, so it shouldn't take too long for him to go down. He's down! Look at that! Pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely some pretty good blood. So when you find blood like this, he shouldn't go too far at all. Here he is down here. Alright guys, so let's pick him up and see what he scores. So we got a total of 200 points for that, for a hit in the lung. And we got 600 gear credits earned. He scores 143, and he weighed 180 to 200 pounds. So not bad, that definitely worked out a lot better than the last bear that we shot. And we got a total of 5,100 gear credits earned for hunting a black bear with a rifle. All right guys, so now we're gonna go hunt two 24 point caribou with a 270 rifle. And we have the partition bullets with us. So this should be pretty fun. I think we're gonna start here at, apparently we can only start here at 10 o'clock. So let's start here at 10 o'clock and go try and find two 24 point caribou. Alright guys, so there's a ground blind right here, and I think what we're going to do is try and sneak over to this ground blind and try and get into it. Now normally you could just go right down to the river, but the problem is we weren't able to start at 12 o'clock. We actually had to start at 10 o'clock, and at 10 o'clock apparently they're still bedded, so that basically means that we have to sneak over to get to them. We can't wait for them to come to us. 
So here's the ground blind right here. And they shouldn't be able to see us or hear us, even though they should be pretty close. Alright, we're in. Oh, look at this. Big bull right there. He's definitely going to be a 24 point plus. He's not. Well, we found a 21 point. We might as well take a shot on him and get some points out of it at least. That was close, but still off. Or not. You need to practice your marksmanship. Alright guys, so normally we can start at 12 o'clock here, and at 12 o'clock the caribou come down to the river and they start drinking. But right now we had to start at 10 o'clock, so I think what we're going to do is sneak around and try and get in this tree here. And maybe we can get a nice shot at these uh, bedded caribou here. Couple of moose right there. All right, so we're about a hundred yards away, and there's definitely some action going on over there. You can see some movement, but we're behind a big rock here, so I don't think they can see us. Alright, we're about 40 yards away and we're definitely going to crouch now. And we'll try and get into the stand without making too much noise. So our stand here is about 30 yards away. And I can see some movement over there. Yeah, I think, I don't know if they can see us or not, but they're definitely looking over this way pretty hard. Oh, there's definitely a male somewhere. I can see him right there. Two of them. Two big. Three of them. All right, guys. We got three. Okay, I think there's three or four big caribou here. And all we need is two. So I hope we can get in our stand here pretty soon. All right, we're in. That sucker right there is huge. Oh my god, a 31.513 scoring caribou. What's this one? 31.517. And what's this one? 25 point. So, basically if we can get this one and this one, we'll have ourselves a hunt. But it's not going to be that easy. Because we need to make a kill shot. And we don't have a very good angle right now. So we're just going to have to be patient and wait. All right, here we go, here we go. So one just stood up and he's starting to feed. He's giving us a pretty solid shot right there. Definitely should be a kill shot. Yep, got him. Next one. Nice and clean. I hope we hit him. Might have let him just a little too much. Oh, we missed him. Son of a... This gun, it seems like you don't have to lead him hardly at all. But we came pretty close and... I don't expect you'll get another good shot here today. The local game needs some time to settle down. We should be able to find him somewhere over in this direction here. So let's go down and pick up our big caribou that we hit. And unfortunately we didn't get the other one, but we know right where he went. So we'll be able to pick up his tracks and track him down and hopefully put one in him. It's just a little bit unfortunate that we couldn't hit him on the run. But here's our big caribou. So at least we got one of them. Let's pick him up and see what he scores. So he scores 513 points and he was a 31 point caribou. Definitely a trophy. And we got 600 gear credits earned for that. So that's pretty awesome. You need one more trophy to finish the hunt. And we need one more. Should be just over by that rock. 
So these are white-tailed deer. Where is our caribou? Maybe down here. Oh, right there. Is that the big one, though? Let's check. It's a 25 point. It is definitely legal, but it's not the big one. So do we want to wait for the big one? And is the big one even around? Uh-oh. There he is, there he is. Found him. Oh, just missed the neck. Wait, we got it. Perfect. In the spine. You're either very lucky or an excellent shooter. <laughs> Maybe both. Just barely hit him. Barely hit the spine. But we dropped him. Just couldn't quite see him. He must have had his head down. That's what the problem was. But once he picked his head up, oh, I could see him a mile away. 31 point caribou right here. Number two. So let's pick him up and see what he scores. Yep, 31 points, and he scores 517, and we got 300 points for hitting the neck. Total of 900 gear credits earned for that shot. And we got a total of 6,000 gear credits earned for killing two 24-point caribou. Alright guys, so now I feel like taking a shot with the recurve bow. So we're going to go do the a stick and string mission, and we have to hunt one moose with a bow. But we're not going to shoot just any moose. We're going to try and hold off for at least like a 20 point bull. So hopefully we find a good one. And let's start pretty early. Let's start at 8 o'clock so we have enough time to... No, 7 o'clock. That way we have enough time to potentially hunt down and find a trophy bull moose. So here we go. Alright, so we're spawned in here and it looks like the moose are still bedding. I think we might try and sneak up into this stand here because the wind would be perfect for that spot. All right, we're in and we have a bull right here. He is a 16 point, unfortunately, and he is not what we're looking for. One lucky moose and he's going to live another day. Oh. So tempting. All right, well, let's go try and find another bull. So actually, I think we're gonna swing around and go to this stand here. It should work out good because he's over on this side and he'll only spook whatever's on that side over there. There's some more stuff over there. Let's keep an eye out on this. There might be a bull out here drinking right now. So you never know what he looks like oh right there now that is a 21 point bull moose that is definitely what we want we need to get to this stand here 72 meters away keep an eye on the wind you don't want to be caught oh. up wind to your prey that is not good the wind just switched and he's blowing right at him so all we have to do is get 50 yards closer, and we'll be set up in the stand. But again, he's out there drinking, and the wind is blowing right at him. So we're definitely going to take it wide and swing around and try and get into the stand. Alright guys, we're in. And is that our bull? Nope. So where is our bull? And there he is right there. 100 yards away. A 21 point bull. That's definitely the one we want. Oh, he's 40 yards away. Pretty broadside. And the wind is blowing right at him. There's a little pocket where you could squeeze the arrow right in there, but it's just a little bit too high. 
So we're gonna have to get him to come a little closer. All right, here he comes. We just can't move too much. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Oh, this will work, this will work, perfect. Here we go. Oh! It was so close. On your approach, the wind could shift and make a shooting spot. Oh. Still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure. Headshots are a risky business. A shot to the vital organs of the body is always the safer, cleaner option. Well, he did go down, and not the way I wanted. We had him broadside perfect at 20 yards away, but unfortunately, we just didn't get any penetration, and we hit a we hit a rib. So let's pick him up and see what he scores. So we ended up losing 75 points, but he scores 196, and he was a 21 point bull. So he was definitely a trophy bull, and even though we hit him a couple of times, we got him, and I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.